Welcome to the Fort Johnson podcast, your source for all things happening in and around our community. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a fantastic resource for both new and long-term members of our Fort Johnson family, the Fort Johnson Spouses and Community Club. This week, we'll be talking about how to become a member, the benefits of joining, and all the exciting events they have planned for the year. Whether you're looking to connect with others, get involved in activities, or give back to the community, there's something for everyone. So stay tuned as we break it all down and give you the inside scoop on what's coming up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching our podcast, I am Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and we are coming to you uh, kind of live. I'm alive, but anyway, uh, from the Fort Johnson Podcast Studios. With me today, I have two lovely guests. Uh, we got Mary Schmidt, the pre or Mary Schmidt Carter from, um, she's the president of the Fort Johnson Spouse and Community Club. And we've got Jessica McGee to her left. Uh, she is the second vice president because the first vice president position was taken already. So <laughs> ladies, how's it going today? It's good. We're I'm good. glad you guys yeah. were able to come in. I've been looking forward to this episode. For, so uh, the Fort Johnson, uh, Spou Fort Johnson Spouse and Community Club is more than just a spouse's club. It's more of a get together and get involved in, in all kinds of things. Why don't you explain to us a little about your organization? Okay. Um, so we are, as you said, spouses and community. So we are not specifically limited to folks that are military affiliated at this time. Um, we really felt like it was important to try to bridge um, and, and develop a connection between Fort Johnson and the surrounding community. So whether that's Derrida, Leesville, any of the other surrounding areas, um, we really didn't want to be super exclusive. I guess. Um, we really wanted to offer an opportunity from people from all different areas to kind of come together, connect. Um, I think it's very easy for people to get here and feel a little out of their element. I well, know course, I did yeah. when I got here. Um, and so if we can help our spouses connect to the larger community and learn about the things that are here for them, all the better. So I don't know if you want to add to that at all, but... Um. We are more than just a club. We are actually a non 501c4 nonprofit. Oh, so you're, yeah. you're a full-on uh, corporation there. there. <laughs> exactly. And so we really try to give back to the community um, in local assistance contributions. We bring awareness and support and volunteer. Yep. We try to volunteer regularly at least a group of one group a month or something. Mm -hmm. we, so where have, uh, where have some of the places that you've uh, volunteered at? Um, we, I went to an event not too long ago. Um, I'm going to, I hope I say this right. Um, I believe it's God's food box. There's some place under Ritter that is a, a food pantry. Um, we went there, I think actually late spring last year. Um, our volunteer coordinator now that just joined the board is fairly new to the area. And so I was like, Hey, we're going to challenge you to find some <laughs> new volunteer opportunities. So if you have any recommendations, we're definitely looking. Um, otherwise we are going to be checking out to see what's in the community and, and try to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally putting her on the spot because I was like, you are, you're going to learn what's here and how we can get connected. And yeah, absolutely. Here, so. There, There's a kitchen down there, uh, a food kitchen down in uh, Deritter. Also, uh, Boss okay. does a lot of stuff oh, with them. Good. So okay. if you want to get a hold of Boss, uh, they, they can they can tell you uh, who or where to, to go down there. But it's it's really easy to get to. I drive by it all the time. Uh, then they also have a, uh, they also have a theater down there that you can, uh, if you're inter, if you got people that are into acting and stuff you can go down and in, there's uh, an art gallery too and an art I gallery yep. but we also have an art gallery right here in leesville i actually volunteer there ah, all right so you about. volunteer at the art museum yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do a lot of neat stuff over there so so you had you recently had a uh, super sign up which is uh it's bigger than a regular sign up uh, it, this is the one where everyone has to wear a cape and show up because it's a super sign up mm -hmm. i know and you missed <laughs> what was her name was it buttercup Cute. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter. Peanut the dog. The dog. Oh, the dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like... Star of the show, let me tell you. See, when, so. when I hear Buttercup, I always think of two different things. The song. Mm -hmm. Why don't you fill me up? But, and and uh, Buttercup from The Princess Bride. Mm -hmm. Yep, Princess Buttercup. Yep. Yeah, as you wish. Anyway. Awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, we. The, so the super sign up of that was great, and I'm gonna let Jess talk about it because she was really kind of like my superstar for super sign up. Um, we had a lot of really neat things going on, so I'll let her tell you about what we did. Okay, so super sign up, we had about 13 vendors uh, ranging all locally. So I believe. Um, what was it? Paul was there. Uh, reading with pals. That's what it's mm -hmm. called. Where Ooh. they, you can have a dog come and help read with your child. They also do board and train as well. No wonder it was a superstar. The dog could read. Yeah. That's amazing. It was magical. <laughs> uh, so we had about 13 wonderful vendors. We made these grab and go charcuterie cups that everyone loved. We had a wonderful raffle, mm -hmm. and which included, and I'm so jealous of this, a free 90 minute like massage. And then it was a free week of um, board and train for your dog. Uh, we had like, um, gift baskets of decorative specialized soaps. And, and how often do you guys have this, uh, the super sign up? Is that a once a year thing or, and, yes. and that, and that's because it's a bigger event than a regular sign up. Yes. It's basically our membership drive for the year. So it's kind of our kickoff to the year. It was our first chance to kind of open our doors to the community and bring folks in and try to get them with that initial connection with us. Um, so folks can still sign up. It's not too late, um, but that was just the big event, like I said, to just kind of get us started for the year. And you guys uh, hold meetings, uh, what, like weekly, monthly, quarterly? Uh, monthly, weekly. We So we are also completely volunteers. I will say that. Um, so weekly would be lovely, but a lot of us have day jobs and other things that we're doing. Um, so this is something that we kind of opt to do um, so we do meet once a month, and then we have a ton of other events that are going to be happening pretty much on a monthly basis. So we're there's a lot going on. You rotate the uh, where you meet, or it's I would assume that you're meeting in the community centers because they oh. are really nice. <laughs> they are really nice, but we are very blessed. Um, part of the Spouses Club is Operation Deploy Your Dress, which if you're not familiar with that, I can tell you a little bit more about it. But we actually have a building on North Fort that has been gifted to. Operation Deploy Your Dress from Fort Johnson. We are immensely grateful. I cannot tell you how awesome that is. Um, so our board actually is able to use that space to do our board meetings and Super Sign Up was held up there. Um, it was an interesting night. It was rainy. Yes. It got a little muddy. <laughs> uh, we had a truck in the ditch at one point. Yes. Um, yeah, see, in no order to have a there. successful uh, event, you have to have a, drunk, uh, a truck in the ditch. Yes, yes. yes. And, and you, like a it's not perfect slide without it. And, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it was more of an attraction because I got to say, even though it was r pouring down rain, we had a good turnout. We did. So how many did you uh, get to sign up? Uh, that night, I think it was about 40. Yeah. Oh, I think nice. We're up to like 60 right now. Yeah. Oh, so nice. They're country lane. We, are, we haven't mentioned yet that we are doing an early bird special right now through the end of September. Um, so if you have listeners or viewers that are interested, uh, the prices are a little bit reduced now. And then October 1st, they'll go up. I mean, it's minimal. It's not a lot to join, but it, we're trying to it helps. get everybody in early. Yeah. So. It helps with all the uh, other the other things. And, yeah. Oh, you know what you guys really need is um, a, a chili cook-off. Yes, that'd be fun. Yeah, do a chili cook-off. We could hold it in the uh, in one of the community centers, mm -hmm. one of the many community centers that we have around Post, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I can come over and I can taste all the chilies. You can be the judge. <laughs> no, I don't want to be the judge. I just want to taste it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of uh, of contests and and raffles and all this stuff, uh, you don't just have meetings and you don't just go out and volunteer. Uh, you do go out and have events and uh, social mixers and, and get allow opportunities for people to meet other people that are here so you can get out of your room and in house and, and go out and, and meet your neighbors and meet your, your fellow, uh, fellow army and, and uh, civilian uh, cohorts around here. So uh, you have, you, I'm sure you have some coming up for uh, at least October and not to mention November, December, January. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the big events and then I'll talk a little bit about subclubs? Yeah. Does that work? Sounds great. So um, our next big event will be September 26th at New Palmetto. It's going to be the fall into fall with us event. Um, we're going to have the pool available. So if you're not already like on base, you will have access to swim and we'll have music. We're going to provide a full meal and you can either have it on site or grab it to go because we also know it's like sports season and, mm -hmm. you know, people 
people might want to just grab their He's food busy. and play a little bit and leave. But um, see, the, the thing about the community centers is they have like a theater area and uh, plenty and a lobby area with televisions in there. So maybe you could just get the, the games playing there. Oh. oh, that way you could keep more people involved. Or keep, or if 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 the or if one of the spouses is uh, more interested in the game, and the other spouse is uh, more interested in uh, the the event going on, mm -hmm. they could both stay there and be happy. Yeah. I'm just a person of ideas. I'm an like I'm an idea man. <laughs> um. We are also, we will also have like a slew of games, including like cornhole and giant Jenga to play outside. We really want this to be like, bring your whole family along, grab a dinner, stay, enjoy. Everything. Bobbing for apples. Exactly. That'd be fun. Hmm. Do you want to donate a bag More, of apples to us? I do not. <laughs> well, thank you. Because <laughs> if I get a bag of apples, there's two things that's going to happen. I'm going to eat them and I'm going to make pies. Fair. Well, maybe oh, I won't fair. make the pies, but I'll eat them. I'll eat the pies. That's fair. <laughs> I just learned about a new apple, uh, the the knobbed the knobbed apple. Yeah, it was it was in a movie my wife was watching. Mm. Uh, they are ugly, ugly apples, but they taste really, really good. That sounds yeah. like something that's from maybe Europe or. Uh, I think it is. I think it's from uh, Great Britain or the UK. Mm -hmm. So I I have to say the UK because I don't know exactly which country it's in. I think it's I think it's England, yeah, but yeah. it's the UK. That's fair. Anyway, <laughs> so so we have, uh, that's in September. Yes, now it is a pay-to-go event. You do have to pre-register on our Facebook. Uh, what's your Facebook? Mary, what's our Facebook? <laughs> oh, man, we just wrote this down. Um, so if folks are on Facebook and they're looking for us, they can search for Fort Johnson Spouses and Community Club. So I know there's a lot of sort of generic Facebook groups that are Fort Johnson Spouses, Fort Johnson Spouses and Community, but we are the Fort Johnson Spouses and Community Club, and our little icon that'll pop up is a magnolia. Oh. Um, so it it's, should be easy to find us. We post a lot. We try to post in some of those other informal spouse groups, um, but we would love for folks to join us and you you wrote it down you asked us we told you oh so you, you think know so the, huh? the at fj spouse club fj scc you can you can uh you can search that too yeah. but uh fj spouses club okay yes. and so, in community fj scc we'll put it in the show notes yeah so yeah. Like it. we'll it'll be on the link in the bottom we can be sure to leave a comment <laughs> Um, yeah, so the event will be $15 for adults, $5 for kids. Make sure you pre-register on our site so that way we know we can have more than enough meals for everyone. And don't forget, you left out the most important part. It's $15 for non-members, oh, $10 for you. members. Is that yes. another reason to join? Right. Yes. Nice discounts. Yes. So that is your your membership price that you pay uh, not only supports the club and helps us to plan all these fun events and everything, but that will also go towards scholarships, community grants, all these yes. charitable things that we're trying to do. But your benefit is that it does get you a discounted price for any ticketed events, and then it gets you access to all of the sub clubs, which we will get to. But. Yes. Every time you say sub club, I think of sandwiches. It's like... <laughs> I'm a, I want a sub. <laughs> you didn't have lunch today, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> We're taking his lunch right now. Yes, probably. probably. <laughs> I, have, I have too many things to do. I am a busy, busy person. It's to, okay. To Mary's sweet enough. She. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> so we got, uh, so we have events going out and it's your events. They seem, you seem to have a lot of events going on. Is it all just uh, uh, like meetings and, and uh, greetings events or do you have uh, like little trips to here and there or little trips to local, local establishments? Yes. So our major events, social events that are coming up will be here. So like I said, we have our fall into fall event in September. Uh, we'll have a kids Halloween costume rave in October. Ooh. Um, we'll have, let's see. You can't have a rave without glow sticks. I know. So you got to get the glow sticks. Just because on it, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, we'll have breakfast kids bingo in November. And then in December, we're going to have our December social. So just keep an eye on our Facebook page. We'll have further information for other events as we get closer to them. Um, but those will be our big kick events. Now we do offer something called a pop-up specifically for our members. Where if our members, let's say, want to take a wine tour to this beautiful winery that's in... Hemp Hill, Texas. Yes. Then they would... Plug. 
go on to our Facebook page, fill out a pop-up event form. It actually gets sent to me for approval. Um, I'll just need to know a little information, where, when, for how many, and then we will promote it on our website for the members. Oh, nice. So you want... So you can go to Schlitterbahn. Have you ever heard of Schlitterbahn? Oh, I love Schlitterbahn. Oh, I Schlitterbahn. Out on this I yes. have not been to Schlitterbahn. Actually, I think that's where our second date was with my husband. Oh, look at that. Yeah. See, and now, I, I didn't tell him it was a water park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was See, like, now, to, now for, for Schmid, she needs to go to Schlitterbahn. Exactly. I'm, Absolutely. I'm, yeah. See, a pop-up event right there. You should be a member. Event. You can make a pop-up event. We can. I'll help you figure out all the details and transportation. No, because I'm still hungry. So my pop-up events will be like a trip to uh, Dallas to go to In-N-Out or a trip to uh, to Texas to go to Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> And you just contact me, and I will figure out the ride and the details, and we can work together. We could have a pop-up event to have a, a, a barbecue contest. There it's, you go. It's all going, it's, all going, it's all centered around food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what? There's not many options around here, so I think you'd get a lot of people. I like interested. this idea. I like the, I like the, food, the food events. We're going to have a, a, a potluck for food, and um, uh, we're going to uh, bring, bring, bring the pot of food, and we'll be luck. No. Yeah. We'll be lucky to eat. Right? Yeah. Actually, fun fact, and leading into the sub clubs, the Bite and Banter will be having a potluck during the holiday season. See? And so, oh, and one of the other things that we do is every month we have a Members Monday. Um, they, it is a members only event. So this- Totally free. Totally free. Mm -hmm. Completely free. Uh, so like this past month, it was game night hosted by our wonderful first vice president, Catherine mm -hmm. Robes. Yep, Robles. Robles. And so um, next month, it'll be Halloween trivia and fun. Now that one will definitely advertise it. 21, eight, it's more for adults, 21 plus, no child care. There will be cocktails. Um, and so just keep an eye out because every month will be different. Every month's by a different board member and it's just fun get together. Absolutely. And uh, uh, if you're going to do Halloween trivia, please, uh, the, the event that uh, led to Halloween is pronounced Samhain. Yes. Not Samhain. Yes. Please, please pronounce it properly. <laughs> oh, I am Halloween trivia expert. One of my favorite quiz questions is who was the, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Friday the 13th. Oh, I don't know who, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a scary movie. <laughs> okay, go you ahead, know. ask me. Go ahead, ask okay, me. Okay, okay. Who was the killer in the original Friday the 13th? That would be Mrs. Voorhees, Jason's mommy. Do you know her first name? Bonus question. I, you know, it was uh, Beverly. I don't know. Was Pamela. It? Huh? Pamela Voorhees. Pamela. Yeah. Pamela. See, yeah, that that's, you're right. See? See, we're yeah. an educational group too. See? We're helping you learn something new every day. And what did uh, Freddy Krueger die of? He died in a fire. How? Oh, what was it? By burning? It was, no, it was in the basement. I believe his last victim set him on fire. From it was uh, in the boiler room at the school where the parents all go joined together Thank and uh, set it on fire. Because, oh, my God. Uh, and that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. And I've seen it so many times. And I miss that. See, it's an educational program. The podcast <laughs> is, exactly. is where we learn all of our hist or all of our movie trivia and, and, and uh, what is did um, even the Beatles have, have uh, sung a uh, Halloween type song. Oh, Beatles trivia. Now you're going to yep. me. See, I only, I only know um, Eleanor Rigby and that's pretty much it. <laughs> See, I was very surprised when I heard it. I was listening to a uh, Halloween uh, countdown songs and uh, Drew Carey just happened to be hosting this show and uh, it had a hollow, it had a Beatles song on it about a guy that was actually after, after his girlfriend, it was like, Ooh, it's like, gosh, Beatles, you're you're dark. <laughs> Leave it to them. Yep. And uh, then Halloween. What was uh, what? Where did the uh, uh, where did the tradition of carving pumpkins actually originate from? That came from turnips. Yeah, turnips. Because turnips are so fun. 
to carve. See, I'm telling you, come to our <laughs> trivia event. Become a member. Come to our trivia event. We're going to have to rewrite some of these questions now because you just aired half of it. And so, can yeah. you name the three? Can you name the, uh, the uh, is it, no, who, who are they? The, the three witches from Hocus Pocus. <gasps> Sarah, Mary, and Bette Midler. <laughs> Not the actresses. <laughs> the the character name. No, but I thought that Sarah, are they not Sarah and Mary? I thought one of them was. I I, I don't know. It's the Sandiford sisters. I, I have friends that are very ashamed of me right now. I, I would be too. <laughs> it's no, the I'm more impressed that you sisters. know the actress's name. No, but I'm the, the I don't know the actress's names. names. <laughs> well, it's Sarah Jessica Parker, Bette Midler, and then I forget the third one. But I thought the ones. Never mind. See, I'm bad. At, I'm so bad at trivia. My husband. Will tell you, like, See, I, Island. I might forget the, the third one who rode the, uh, the vacuum. vacuum cleaner, but I could tell you that she was, uh, uh, she was on King of the Hill mm -hmm. and she was also in Sister Act. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I forget her name though, but yeah, yeah. We'll put that in the show notes later too, sorry. But I think it was Winifred. <laughs> Winifred. W Winifred yes. was one She's of like, Doesn't she say like it smells like children or yeah. something? Yep, okay. Yeah. 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 Some something like that. <laughs> so many ideas. <laughs> I know. See, become a member. Come to trivia night. I you know what you. else? You know what other uh, nights that you need? Uh, you need karaoke night. <laughs> I'm all about the karaoke. Oh, you might I will be having to a host karaoke. karaoke. Yeah. You don't want to. That'd be fun. Mm -mm. Karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> we could do a pop-up event for karaoke. A pop-up event yeah, for exactly, karaoke. Right? And uh, and the pop-up event for karaoke will happen in Vegas. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to some road tripping. But. Road trip. Yeah. Road trip to Vegas. Anyway. All on your expense, of course. <laughs> yeah. So how long has the uh, how long has the FJSCC, I'm just going to call it the uh, the FJSCC. Yeah. So the FJSCC has only been around about a year because if you'll recall, I do recall. Previously, we were the Fort Polk Spouses Club, and but not no has more. More information about that. So in our current standing, that happened about a year. You've ago. been we've around since the, the start. Yes, exactly. yes, we, we've been here forever, forever. Um, <laughs> but the Fort Polk, you told me this the other day, and I yes. forget already. So Fort Polk Spouses Club actually originated in 1987 by a group of officers' wives that were just wanting to like you know back then this we didn't even have the area that we do now then i think no was water around burger. here yeah i grew up not even a water burger not even a water burger it's funny that you've been here you said 16 years 19 19 years so i actually grew up in Baton rouge oh did you so i know that 20 years ago there was nothing here <laughs> <laughs> um let's see there was there were uh two KFCs, there was uh, two Taco Bells and two McDonald's. Yeah. And Alexandra didn't have a zoo. Nope. Yeah. So there was not a lot. So these wonderful wives were like, hey, I don't want to drive two hours for events and neither should the wonderful families of Fort Polk at the time. So that's when they started the club and they started making the events for families to feel welcome. And then it became communities and then they made enough to start giving back, which is how we came to our beautiful club today. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. That's so fun. And the, uh, so what are the, uh, some of the places that you're, you're looking at and helping out, um, donating to, I, I heard you got scholarships and grants and those are for schools. Uh, you donate, um, uh, to anything else or what are the other places that you donate to and, and help out with? So I, I, Total transparency. We are sort of rebuilding this yeah. year. Um, and so unfortunately last year we were not in a position to be able to give back just financially. Where it we happens, are, uh, the, you know, it, it happens. happens. Um, but we're really excited this year. And so not only are we hoping to be able to give away some scholarships to some der deserving students that are going away to school, but we're also looking to see, you know, what's available in the community. Um, you mentioned earlier, we were talking kind of before the show about there's an art gallery in Leesville for folks that are not aware. Um, so that is a really neat, space the owner of the art gallery tony has been really supportive of the spouses club so like when they have projects come up we would love to be able to have grant money to kind of help what they're doing they're doing some neat things in the community they've got some pocket parks they've got the leesville art park um, so organizations like that ideally we would like to be able to support them and contribute back because those are all things that improve the quality of life for our families 
Yeah. As well as we're big supporters of small entrepreneurs, especially like spouses that have their own businesses. They can come to us, partner with us to be a vendor, and we will get your name out there. So if you, especially if you're new to Fort Hood and you have a business and you try to Well, find yeah, but we're there. See, I mean, Fort Hood would be really okay. nice, but we're we're here at Fort Johnson. Uh, I, uh, I can see that uh, somebody's been someplace uh, else before, but I've been keeping Jessica very busy <laughs> and so her brain might be a little melty cuz she's been yes. doing a lot of work for the club lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll, that's my fault. And I, sure. I think it's cuz I just wrote my son's di- uh I had to write, you know, his doctor appointment, city, birth, and all of that, and it was Fort Hood. Uh, yeah, but, so sure. Yes, we can make Fort- excuses all day long, but it's still, at the end of the day, it, we're still here at the wonderful Fort Johnson. Yes. I mean, wonderful hey. Fort Johnson. <laughs> we're all one big military family. It's fine. Speaking of which, if anyone has been to Fort Hood and had their wonderful bingo night, we will be doing the same thing for our bingo event oh, in how fun. November. How fun. Yeah. And uh, so you have... All of these uh, in the meetings and uh, the get-togethers, you've, you're, you're having like lunches in, in or you, you were talking about lunches before. Well, so, once again, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to talk too much about that one. Um, so in addition to these bigger ticketed events that, that are, you know, we're trying to draw a larger crowd, we also recognize that for some people, especially when you're new, it can be really intimidating. Absolutely. To a room full of people and not know anybody. Um, so sometimes the sub clubs are a great way for folks to get started because they tend to be a smaller group. You're usually talking like five or 10 people. Um, and we've got, I'm, I can read you the whole list if you'd like. Nah, um, we don't need to get into everybody. Eight or nine or <laughs> ten subclubs. They are all attached to our Facebook page for folks that are looking. Um, the newest subclub that apparently is going to be wildly popular because we created it about three days ago and it's already got a ton of members is Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh. Don't ask me any questions. I'm not a DN. I don't know, but the folks that do know, they know. They know. If you know, you know. If yes, you know, you know. So wonderful. A subclub now for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um, the club that Jess was talking about earlier, we have a bite and banter. She's actually the chair of that subclub, and so we go to bite lunch. Bite and banter. Huh? Bite and banter. Oh, that's the lunch one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Lunch okay. and banter. Lunch bunch. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's one of them. We have a book club that meets. We have a rock walk run stroller club. No one runs. Spoiler alert. We all just walk and hang out. But there were six of us this morning that met and walked the golf course. Um, So there's just a lot going on. And we're very open to folks that have ideas. So if you're somebody that says, gee, I want to lead a club, we're very open to that. We'd love to support that. Our only requirement for the sub clubs is that they do meet monthly. So that's where it's a little different from the pop-up event. If you're like, eh, I don't think I can commit to a monthly something, we can then do just an individual event here and there. But the, the monthly clubs are so much fun. That is how I got my introduction to the Spouses Club when my husband and I arrived last spring, a year ago. Um, I went to a random book club event and fast forward a year and I'm the president of the club. Oh, hey. look at that. Yes, actually, so. that's how I started too. Mm-hmm. Our wonderful sub club chair is in charge of book club. Her name is Alexandra Cavazos yep. and she is so welcoming. And I always tell people if, especially when you're new to an area, just join a book club. It's the best way to like meet people and get around. And but then you have to read. Well, see, I want to join. I, well, how about if I just create a sub club and it'll be the movie club and we discuss movies that we've gone and seen. Uh, you you I, want I, we sold wheel support partner that. on that. I like it. I like uh, it. I will tell you for anyone that is feeling intimidated about reading a book, and I'm, I'm not talking out of turn because Alexandra will tell you the same thing. We always pick a book. We're very dedicated about that. And we always talk about it for at least five minutes of the meeting. And See, I'm, I'm usually wine and I, eat <laughs> I'm usually about the uh, uh, the uh, with the ADD and all that stuff. I'm pretty much limited to maybe a brochure. Mm-hmm. So that's there, that's my limit to a book. Zero expectation to actually <laughs> read the book. It is encouraged but not required. And so we I actually love when somebody's like. I've done it. I just yeah. up and I'm like, I ran out of time. I didn't read the book. I'm just here to hang out. And <laughs> or I'll I'll read. Uh, I can read the back cover, and I can read the last page, so I know how the the book ends. See? So I knew how uh, Harry Potter ends, but I didn't know what led up to it. And it's like, oh man, there's a lot in there. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if we suggest to read a book and it has a movie, well, it can always do a movie night. Mm-hmm. Movie night. Yes. yes. Movies. We have done. We could do. Uh, we could do. And during nice nights out, like in the fall or the spring, before the bugs are over taking and the heat is overtaking you could do an outdoor movie screening mm-hmm. and that's fun 
See, I've always, I've always liked the idea of doing the, uh, what is it, the, the drive-in movie at the pool, the swim-in movie, and yes. showing Jaws. Yes. <laughs> so we are working on that for hopefully future events. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you, you got to keep an eye on our Facebook so that way you know when changes are happening, when we add stuff. Yeah. We have a fabulous social media person. Gabby um, is a few years younger than I am, thank goodness. And she is all about all the socials. She creates all the amazing like graphics and stuff on Canva. Um, so she's killing it to help us make sure that folks know what we're doing, what's going on. Um, so we're really well. Great. It sounds it sounds like uh, it sounds like you've got a full schedule of of everything and uh, a little bit for everybody. So I mean, this is great. Uh, so one last thing, uh, one we'll just go over it again um, to. To, to join or to show interest, just go to your Facebook, which is FJ uh, Spouse Club or Spouses uh, Community Club. Uh, make sure that it's got the Magnolia on there. That's how you'll know it's them. Yep. So, but anyways, uh, <laughs> so Mary, Jessica, I appreciate you guys coming in, and uh, I hope that uh, I hope we can help get some more uh, participation for you guys. Thanks for coming in, and uh, hope to have you back soon. We would uh, love that. Please, yes, if you have, if you next, and we'll get you in before the uh, the nice big, uh, the uh, super the super sign up event. But and I look forward to seeing you at Halloween trivia next month. Yeah. Oh, you think so, huh? Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to show everybody up. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you guys coming in, and uh, I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and you've been watching the Fort Johnson podcast. Please, please, please leave a comment, leave a, a like. Give us a thumbs up if you want to see something or hear something, or if you think you've got a great idea for a subject on our show, please uh, let us know. Uh, leave, us, leave a comment and uh, please subscribe and let us know how we're doing. And I would like to let everybody out there know that we will always be here for you. So just uh, we'll be watching and listening at you later. <laughs>